All right, so I got this going. It took me a while to get my uh, audio set up. I'm Dr. Ashton, and welcome to Psychology 253, Industrial Organizational Psychology. And first off, uh, since this is like the lecture, the professor usually gives the first day of class a little bit about me. Here I am last year when I was over uh, in Britain. And uh, a little bit about my background. I have a PhD in social psychology, and uh, in graduate school I studied, uh, did research on the fundamental attribution era, the stigma of mental illness, uh, and gender and social support. Uh, for several years I did non-academic work. Uh, I was in community leadership training, and I was a community organizer. Uh, many of those years I held an executive uh, position in organizations, which gives me a really good background for the organizational part of industrial organizational psychology. I've been at York since uh, 2003. I teach social psych methods, IO and OB, and for several years I was the director of the honors program. Uh, I'm married, and here's a picture of my wife and I from about 10 years ago when we were visiting uh, the Smoky Mountains Park, and uh, we were about ready to go to a walk uh, to a place called Katie's Cove with these beautiful uh, waterfalls. And on the left here is my dog, Floss. Uh, she's a girl, and this is a, another old one when she was a puppy. Uh, on the right, she's playing, and I'm pretty sure she's, this is playing. Uh, with Tattoo, and uh, Floss and Tattoo came from the same rescue shelter. Uh, we adopted Floss, and a friend of ours adopted uh, Tattoo. So let's uh, get to the topic. This is IO psychology. The definition of IO psychology is the psychology of work, or psychology applied to work. Anything doing, dealing with work is you know, an area for IO psychology. Uh, you, if you have a business background, you may notice that the topics uh, in this course are similar to a business course, but the major difference is that we're using the methods of psychology, uh, and that's the scientific method, which we'll spend a great deal of time on in this course. Uh, major areas of IO psychology include employment testing, marketing research, that is advertising, and ergonomics or human factors. So let me give you an introduction to what's going to happen in the course. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so this is a 100% online course. Uh, it's called asynchronous in that we're not meeting in class. Uh, you can do the work anytime during the day. But the thing is, since it's a summer class, it's going to be compressed. So you are going to need to work uh, every day on the class. So what do you need for an online course? Uh, you need a computer. You need to have a computer that is fast, uh, that usually has a uh, broadband uh, connection to the internet. Uh, you're going to need a place where you can study with your computer. Uh, using the computer in the family room or the living room next to the TV may not really work. So you really do need to have a place. Uh, you need to have what uh, IO psychologists and business people call soft skills, uh, the skills that get you to the workplace. That is time management, being able to make a schedule, being able to uh, keep to the schedule. Uh, being able to keep things organized, being able to keep a calendar and know what's coming up. And you're going to definitely, definitely need study skills. Study skills that you may not have had to use at York before. Uh, a lot of what's going to happen this summer is you're not going to have a, a video lecture like this to explain things for you. Uh, you're going to have to read material by yourself, and you're going to have to explain it to yourself. So you need to have some important dates. Uh, the fourth is the first day of class. Uh, I think the fifth is the last day to withdraw without a W. Uh, the 19th is an important day. That is the last day to withdraw with a W. Remember, a W will not negatively uh, affect your GPA. 
So the 19th is the date where you need to make that decision. It's a little early for our extended session, uh, but that's what we have to deal with. And uh, July 24th is the last day. Uh, plan of the course. So what will the course entail for you? Uh, well, if you've had me before in person, uh, you'll be happy to know that the exams are set up ha as I set up the exams in my in-person classes. Uh, I have on Blackboard already uh, the po question population for the quizzes and exams. That is all the multiple choice questions uh, that I will choose from for the quizzes and the exams are on Blackboard for you to prepare with and study. Uh, we'll have a quiz every unit, and we'll be doing a unit every two days, every two uh, weekdays, uh, because we're in a summer session. And then we'll have a midterm and a final, or actually they're non-comprehensive, so exam number one in the middle and exam number two at the end. Uh, we'll have integrative assignments, assignments that will allow you to integrate what you're reading in the textbook, what you're quizzing about, uh, with other aspects of life. Uh, some of these will be individual assignments, that is homework. Other, you know, most of them will be group assignments, uh, where you'll be interacting online with other students and myself. So the work cycle for the course is that, you know, every unit we have study questions, we take a quiz, and we repeat, and then after about uh, six chapters we have an exam. Uh, we're going to have the integrative assignments. Uh, you'll be working online with other students, with me. And then finally, the semester project is we're going to be working in groups to develop a research wiki. Now, when I say research wiki, uh, you think about Wikipedia, but that's not really what I'm talking about. Uh, wiki is a type of computer system uh, which allows you to develop a web page very quickly. Now that system is the heart of Wikipedia, and you know that's where the common word or the common root word wiki comes in. Uh, wiki actually comes from uh, Hawaiian, and it means fast. Uh, the idea of creating a web page fast, uh, and the term was used because in Hawaii, they have these buses that go around very quickly, and they're called wiki buses. And so during the semester, you'll be working with peers online uh, to develop this process. And we're, we have several stages, which I'll help you go through, but this will be a long-term project. Oh, and here I just really just talked about it, uh, but I do have actually the outline. Uh, there'll be four stages of the wiki project. Uh, the first will be a group outline, where I'd like you as a group to develop an outline of some of the potential articles you're going to be using in your uh, research wiki. Uh, the next step after that, after I look at the outline and approve it or give you feedback on it, is that I'd like you to get the articles, the research articles, and I'd like you to write up a paragraph or two description of each one of the articles. And then once I give you feedback and those articles, I hope, will be part of what you'll be putting into your wiki. Uh, then, after feedback on that, you're going to do a draft of the group wiki. I'll give you feedback, and then you have the final group wiki for your final grade. Uh, grading elements are covered in the syllabus, but just to go over them here, about half the class uh, comes from the you know, text-based assignments, the quizzes, the two exams, and the integrative exercises. Uh, the other 50% come from the semester project. And uh, here's a picture of Floss as she is now. Notice that she's gotten really gray and she has a raccoon there. And Floss is here to tell us that that's it for uh, this video lecture. Bye-bye.